What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on another Modern Warfare fix. So today's video is going to be going through the graphics card or GPU not supported error when you start up the game, launch into a match, etc, etc. Usually this is most common on laptops, but it can happen on any computer for any reason, basically at random, as with most other errors in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. However, this issue is relatively simple to get around if you know what you're doing, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have your game fixed and ready to play as normal. So there's a couple of fixes that we'll be going through and this first fix will most likely work for you if you're on a laptop or an all-in-one computer and it'll be less likely if you're using a desktop with a dedicated graphics card. What we're going to do is press start and head across to settings. Either type it in or press the cogwheel to open it up. Then once it's open, head across to the system tab, followed by a display, and then scroll down to the very bottom and click on graphics settings. Then when you're in this window over here, all you need to do is make sure that you have classic apps selected over here and click browse. Then, if you know where your game is located, head across to where it is. Otherwise, start up your Blizzard launcher. Once your Blizzard launcher is open, head across to options under Call of Duty Modern Warfare and go to show in Explorer. Then you'll see a folder like this. I'll simply copy the URL from the top, paste it into this open file dialog that we have from the settings window, and we'll open up Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and we'll find modernwarfare.exe, or the bigger of these two files here, or the one that doesn't say launcher. Either way, Modern Warfare, double click and you can see it's added to this list over here under Graphics Performance Preference. Then we'll click Options and if you're on a laptop, you'll most likely see your CPU's GPU here and under High Performance GPU, you'll see your dedicated graphics card if you have one. If you see that these two are different and you have it set to System Default or Power Saving, then simply by changing this to High Performance and clicking Save, your game will probably be fixed. At this point, you can go ahead and try to launch up your game and see if it works. Otherwise, if it doesn't, there's a few more fixes that we can go through. So the second fix is a little bit confusing to begin with, but it's rather simple once you understand what you're doing. Open up a file explorer and head across to your documents folder. Once in here, find the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and open up Players. Once you have the Players folder open, look for config or config.cfg and right click, open with more apps and choose Notepad or you can also open it with Notepad++ if you have that available. So scrolling down to the very bottom of this over here, you'll see that we have set CL, a bunch of numbers, followed by a list of graphics cards currently installed in your computer. I have a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, 1080, and a Microsoft Basic Render Device driver over here. So there are technically three graphics cards in my computer currently. If I were to scroll up quite a bit, all the way to probably one third, you'll find this line over here, set CL 20372, etc., followed by the graphics card's name, NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti. When the game starts up, this is the graphics card that it's going to try and use. As you can see, this name appears on the list at the very bottom over here. Now, originally, when I was getting similar errors to this, it had my second graphics card listed, where it didn't have the space Ti after it. So all that I needed to do was copy this first name over here of my high-performance GPU in my computer, copy it, scroll up, and paste it into these inverted commas over here. Then once you make sure that you have the correct graphics card name over here, as it appears at the bottom, you can go ahead, click File, Save, and close out of this window. Then you can close out of this folder as well and attempt to launch up your game next. Then if you're still having issues, I'd recommend you go ahead and check to see if your graphics drivers are up to date. Otherwise, clean reinstall them if they are up to date or simply update them to the latest version if they're out of date. Once you've gone through those steps, you should have the game working just fine and ready to play once again. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you. If you're still having issues, make sure to check the comments down below as you may find your solution there. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.